We have a great test in store for you today. So we're going to test Super Tech, Royal Purple, and Mobile One. I'm really excited to get this one started. As you can see, we have Super Tech Full Synthetic 5W30, Dexos approved. So you can see we have the donut seal of approval for the API certified American Petroleum Institute. Also, the API SN Plus, SN, SM, and IL SAC GF5, and many other certifications. So, you think SuperTech can stand up to Royal Purple or Mobile One Full Synthetic? Well, I'm not so sure, but we're going to test the film strength of these motor rolls. We're also going to come up with our own NOAC volatility test and check the temperature resistance. So do you think they can withstand high temperatures? This is official motor oil used by NASCAR. Well, we're going to find out if Mobile One is the real deal. There's a lot of great claims. As you can see, API certified 5W830 a lot of the same certifications ILSAC GF5 API SN Plus SN SM SL now let's go ahead and take a look at the Royal Purple a lot of people use Royal Purple in high performance applications and with good reason Royal Purple is an excellent motor oil Dexos approved also the donut seal of approval API certified once we've tested our motor oil under the high temperatures just like inside your engine then we're going to test that used motor oil and see just how much it's impacted the film strength Royal Purple combines premium base oils with proprietary additive technologies to create high performance motor rules that optimize your engine performance and provide superior protection well we're going to put this superior protection to the ultimate test we're going to find out how it stands up against mobile one or do you guys actually think super tech can do the job so we're going to make sure we measure these oils as we test them because we want to know the exact weight of each oil and we want to use the exact same amount when we do our abrasion test as you can see right here I'm going to use a timer because the only way to do this test properly is to use a timer this way it turns the machine on and off as you can see the voltage and amperage will be tested also to show against the load because without the timer the test will be inaccurate as they will each be on a different time we're going to time it as we put it under a high heat then weigh it which one's going to come out on top which one will dissipate heat faster well I want to find out the temperature resistance to each oil because our engines go under some extreme temperatures and we need the best oil to dissipate these heats also any ideas that you guys may have to improve our tests I'd love to hear back and we'll put your ideas to the test so just subscribe and comment below let me know what you want to see in the upcoming video and your idea may just be the next video we post once we poured our oil, even after measuring it in a container, next we'll go ahead and throw it on the scale and make sure that we have the exact same amount in each container, 2.8 ounces. This way, not only will we be able to test the temperature resistance, but we'll also be able to test it for a NOAC volatility test. That's right. 
we'll know exactly how much oil has been lost from the high temperatures. First up, we're going to see just how much temperature resistance each oil has. So for one minute, we're going to run these oils and we'll find out what the temperature is at the end of the one minute. So will any of these oils start to boil within one minute? Well, stick around and find out because we have some really interesting results for you guys to see. You're definitely going to be surprised with what's coming up. After that, we'll be testing to see just how much oil has actually been lost in the hot temperatures of the engine. And surprisingly, Mobile One, 324 degrees Fahrenheit. So it came in first place on this test. Now, it was able to resist the temperatures for the longer amount of time. Second place, Supertech at 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we had Royal Purple finishing in third place at 349 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you can see, the start weight was 2.8 ounces, Mobile One at 2.7, Royal Purple, and Supertech coming in in second place tied at 2.6. Well guys, which one do you think is actually going to win this test? The Film Strength. I'm really excited to see this one. I'm sure a lot of you guys place your money on Royal Purple as that's probably a good choice. But I'm really curious to see how Supertech fares. I mean, a Walmart oil. And this is definitely what I'm curious to see. Once the motor oils have been subjected 
to the high temperatures of the engine and obviously much worse inside the engine then will this impact the protection or the film strength of the oil what do you guys think I'm definitely curious to see this one so make sure you drop a comment below let me know This is definitely what I've been waiting for, to see who came out on top. Well, guys, I definitely don't claim that this is the best engineered test, but it does provide pretty good results. So make sure to include any details that can help me improve my tests. After weighing the bearings, it looks like Mobile One's on top, Royal Purple in second place, and Super Tech in third place. But as you can see, the Mobile One that was used actually tied with the brand new Royal Purple. Well, you can also see the results. We measured the scarred metal, and Mobile One on top here. Secondly, Royal Purple. Third, Super Tech. Well, thank you guys for watching Nate's Interactive Auto. Keep on wrenching.